XRP 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 The bulls getting ready to run out the game Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page and TikTok at High Vibe Assets. Let's go ahead and kick off this bullish content. I was skeptical that XRP would have lasting power because Ripple, the company, owns 60% of them, now 55 or 50% of them. And I was like, that just doesn't seem a, a proposition that's going to work. And I've been dead wrong. Hats off to Brad Garlinghouse and, and his team. Ripple is now, you know, a institution. Uh, you know, the, the XRP army is real. Uh, they care about their ecosystem and their coin. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. High Vibe Assets back again with another dagger. Let's go back to the biggest financial organization in the world, right? The Bank of International Settlements, the central bank of central bank, right? The lender of last resorts for all of the central banks around the world. Let's go back and take a look at what they're talking about when we're dealing with blockchain technology. Again, you hear me talk about this on this channel all the time because that's essentially what this is all about. Even with XRP, XLM, XDC, iota filecoin all of these other digital assets that are on the market bitcoin right the basis and the protocol of what this is is blockchain technology right take a look at what i'm showing you right here on your screen so when you when you when you when you're talking about okay worldwide adoption for something and you're talking about mass adoption worldwide pretty much like a cell phone right pretty much like Internet, okay, email. I'm talking worldwide mass produced protocols. It comes from the top. And unfortunately, government is not the top, right? Especially when it comes to protocols and ideas and technologies adopting, moving from industry to industry, revolution to revolution. These things come from where the money comes from. Bank of International Settlements sits up there at the top and they have right here their committee on payments and market infrastructures. Right. This is the real deal. And we covered this before on this channel, but they have an update on it. They're continuing to add to it and they are establishing this paperwork going forward. So all of the central banks can adopt this. All of the governments can adopt this. All of the markets, private markets, public markets can adopt this and we can Merge in the traditional finance system of what we're using right now and upgrade it to a new system. Beautiful. I mean, this is exactly what we want to see. This is the time in the moment to where, hey, this is the best investment that there is right now. You have commodities and gold is a sure bet. We're going to be talking about how these assets are going to be reclassified and revalued here in a second. You know, we have different other things you can invest in. But this right here, family, this is the fourth industrial revolution. The Bank of International Settlements recently announced a cross-border payments interoperability and extension task force that includes blockchain-based payment systems network Ripple. Now, we understand that, but let's go ahead and take another look at this, okay? The world needs a better cross-border payments network. I mean, that's just flat out and clear, right? Coming from the BIS. And when you're talking about a pyramid structure, when you're coming from your employees into your small corporations, into your larger corporations, then you get to your governments and central banks, the Bank of International Settlement sits at the top of a pyramid, right? The financial pyramid, they sit at the top. And they are flattening out saying that, look, the payment network, we need another one. <laughs> we need a better one because the legacy payment system is not doing us just. It's equivalent almost to using, you know, standard dial up when you used to log into your AOL account and that, you know, loud noise used to screech out and you had to wait for the dial up to connect. It's kind of like that with the payment systems, believe it or not, especially internationally. For real, it's like that. And they are continuing to build on top of it, right? 
they're continuing to add on to it, doing more research and allowing, right, what they're talking about to be adopted worldwide. OK, so we're going to read right here. It says um, global adoption of fast payment systems is rising at a, at a rapid pace. Of course it is. That's the main goal. That's the reason why XRP, right, has become really all of a sudden one of the most popular digital assets um, in the world. You know, Bitcoin was kind of holding on to that. Bitcoin still holds on to that, I believe. But because of faster payments, global adoption, um, you know, the need for a new payment system is now growing at a fat uh faster pace excuse me a rapid pace that's the reason why you're seeing xrp starting to rise up to the top especially when you're talking about um discussions in cryptocurrency more than 70 fps already in operations and the number continues to grow fps allows processing of remittances and retail payments such as funds are immediately available to the payee this is that on-demand liquidity of what ripple has been pushing for the last really six or seven years available on a 24 7 near basis and that's go back to the point to where they specifically name drop and I remember, you know, covering this space a couple of years ago, it was hard to get those name drops. You know, a lot of the information you had to really, really dig, you know, they didn't really want to put out information. Now we're getting all the all of the statistics. Now we're getting all of the, you know, case studies. And you've been seeing lately, especially on this channel, I'm coming with back to back to back proof that, bro, they're name dropping Ripple and XRP. The Bank of International Settlements recently announced a cross-border payments interoperability and extension task force that includes blockchain-based digital payments network Ripple, the Amazon of crypto. And to get a little bit of Ripple stock as a long-term investor, you know, it wouldn't be a bad bet. Of course, it's not financial advice, but when you see a company like this who is I believe Ripple is operating on a quasi, you know, government type level. And we've been hearing about this uh, a couple of times on this channel, too. You know, Ripple is not just your ordinary startup company. You know, this is a, you know, private public relationship that's on a BIS level, on a government level. You know, Ripple is not just your regular company. You know, this is going to be a fast, fast trillion dollar company, especially, especially with holding XRP on their books. On August 9th, the Bank of International Settlements shared a summary of its PIE task force on May 11th meeting. In it, it says that the members of the task force will work to enhance cross-border payments to meet the quantitative targets for cross-border payments endorsed by the G20. Now, when you're talking about you know, other financial, uh, you know, coalitions, you hear about the BRICS coalitions, you know about the G20, the G7. These are financial coalitions, trade partners, essentially, um, who have power and who have authority with passing down, um, you know, targets and passing down ideologies to allow a certain system to develop and i've played it on this channel multiple times with representatives of the g20 representatives in india with the g7 and g20 talk about blockchain talk about how the number one use case of this technology would be for payments and the need of this technology specifically ripple and xrp to be that agnostic exchange token that will like calibrate all this stuff, right? And then for you people that's, you know, just now really getting subscribed to the High Vibes channel, and when you hear me talking in this language, hey, just continue to watch. Just continue to, you know, be a, a regular subscriber, be a part of the High Vibes family. The more that you watch, the more of the language will start to make sense. For you OGs, put it in the comment section. Let the people know what we're talking about. The task force is part of the Bank of International Settlements Committee on Payments and Market Infrastructure. And that's one of the key things that we talk about a lot on this channel. And while Ripple and XRP has already been crowned the number one spot in crypto, because you're talking about market infrastructure. OK, you're talking about the railroads. You're talking about the protocols, how everything on top of this technology will be built. The demand for XRP is going through the damn roof. I'm telling you, man, back to back to back every time on this channel. 
Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every time is bullish. The Federal Reserve has a strong interest in ensuring that any stablecoin offering operate within an appropriate federal prudential oversight framework. But when are you going to move into stablecoins? Yes. <laughs> when? Yes. <laughs> Look, I, I think the stablecoin market is fascinating. Uh, uh, will we do or say more than that? Not today. The Federal Reserve has a strong interest in ensuring that any stablecoin offering operate within an appropriate federal prudential oversight framework. The potentially fast and wide adoption of a global stablecoin, potentially a global currency governed only by the incentives of a private company, only by the incentives of a private company, is something that will deserve and will receive the highest level of regulatory expectations and will receive the highest level of regulatory expectations. So they do not threaten financial stability? or payment system integrity. We have also provided guidance to the banks that we supervise on how they should engage with their supervisors when considering use of these products. We're considering use of these products. You know, being a highly regulated institution that we are, like we can't touch crypto or stable coins or anything like that. You know, we're... In terms of central bank digital currencies, we continue to speak to a broad range of stakeholders our research is currently focused on end-to-end -end system architecture, such as how ledgers that record ownership of and transactions in digital assets. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Are maintained, secured, and verified as well as tokenization. We must consider where, whether our understanding and computation of traditional monetary and liquidity indicators need to be re-evaluated considering new types of payments through cooperation across borders, industries, and professions so we can develop a comprehensive and consistent approach of measuring these new payment methods. Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. But please let everyone know that the high vibe said that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. XRP, 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 XRP. XRP, the bulls getting ready to run out the game.